and that is a very snug fit. So this is your transmission area with your shifter and the way this operates you've probably seen before it just moves gears back and forth here. So I pull this off and now you can see that's just an empty chamber with a rubber outlet which goes to this thing which is the outlet hose. So what I'm going to do is because this is vented I'm going to vent the other side and that's just a matter now of putting a hole in the top of this. Uh, one last thing people say it's plastic but you got to realize that though it might be plastic these are aluminum. So here I've drilled my index hole now I can come back to the top side and enlarge that hole. I'm going to use a brad point bit because it's got a nice center on it and I can line that center up with the hole and drill this out. Ease into it. We're just going to thread this down in there. Uh, this is actually pretty neat. I allowed the threads on here, because they are tapered, to cut their own threads into this cover. So you can kind of see the threads there. All I did was set it in, made sure I kept it straight, and then drove it home with this 9 16 wrench right here. And that is a very snug fit. I'll put some red thread locker on there, and then we'll just thread that. into the top. There it is underneath. So I used the Permatex thread sealant on that brass fitting. And there's the final installation and how it looks. Goes up the hose and into the little filter. So we'll give this a try and uh, I'll be inspecting the breather bolts to see how they look after doing this uh, modification. So pros and cons I guess. Uh, we'll see what happens.